Hello submarine friends. I thought it would be time to make another video showing you guys the progress of my ROV project. So the arm is now installed permanently. The air compensation system for the arm is all installed and ready to go. The regulator and the other regulator for the air compensation system is in. The battery boxes are in with batteries all wired up and they're also air compensated. All the thrusters are on and wired up and air compensated as well. So the ROV is basically ready to go. It just needs the electronics installed. So let's move on to that. So here's all the electronics equipment. This is the Arduino based control system. I have 80 amp fuses for the main thrusters because they draw 50, 60 amps. I have uh, the Arduino right here. This is a speed control for the vertical thrusters. I don't have speed control on the main thrusters yet. That's coming. I am on a budget, so I have to, you know, keep it cool. So this is the relay package for the mechanical arm. All of that is working. Um, I have a friend coming over this weekend and he's going to download some more software to get the opposite side working for the thrusters. So this weekend that will all be done. This is the the can that this whole assembly slides into. So the end of this can right here, that's all machined perfectly smooth and it fits right onto this notch here and there's an O-ring seal right there. The whole thing just gets clamped together and that creates the water tightness. This is the control panel I made. The switches are temporary. I'll probably do some mini joysticks or something. I haven't quite decided I want to put it in the test pool and try it all out and then I'll decide what I need. So this is an LED readout. It gives me the depth, it gives me the water temperature, uh, and it gives me the communication signal with the ROV so we know that it's communicating properly. This is a throttle control for the vertical thrusters. And uh, all these switches are for the headlight and the uh, rear thrusters as well as the mechanical arm. The electronics can has a safety device as well. Underneath is a water sensor. So if water enters into the can, the LED screen actually goes from green to orange to warn me that the, uh, the can is taking on water. Just a nice safety precaution. The other thing that's all done is the camera housing. My picture is not as good as I'd like it to be and I think that's because the connection that I have on onto the camera housing, it could be better. So I'm going to uh, probably make a new electric penetrator and seal it up and solder it up a little bit better. I should, I think that'll fix the, the image issue. I can live with it the way it is, but might as well go for the gusto here. So that's it for now. Ciao.